is Friday, February 26th, 2021, and you are tuned into Dirt Tracker Daily. I'm Justin Fiedler. Today, we are previewing the Extreme Dirt Car Series finale at Modoc Raceway. Kyle Busch is going super late model racing. The All-Stars and ASCS made some schedule changes. We look at some other racing happening this weekend and more, so let's jump in. The Extreme Dirt Car Series for Super Late Models closes out their season tomorrow, Saturday, at Modoc Raceway in South Carolina. The race pays $7,000 to win, but the series champion will take home $15,000 for the six-race Southern Championship. Drivers with perfect attendance are also getting bonus checks from series sponsor Drydeem. Chris Madden is the defending champion, and he enters the final race as the points leader by 25 over Kyle Strickler. Dalton Wilson, Anthony Sanders, and Trent Ivey round out the top five in the standings. Pearson Lee Williams was the MODOK winner in 2020, topping Zach Mitchell and Casey Roberts. Brandon Overton, Madden, Michael Brown, and Ross Bales have all picked up series wins this season. According to announcer Rick Eshelman, if Madden finishes sixth or better, he'll win the title regardless of what Kyle Strickler does. Strickler needs to win and have Madden finish seventh or worse to bag the championship. Madden won the series' most recent race last weekend at Cherokee Speedway, where Kyle Strickler finished third. I think Madden is probably the favorite here, given his experience at these racetracks and is entering with some momentum on the strength of that last win. Strickler will be intriguing to watch, though. He and crew chief Vinny Giuliani had a ton of success at Volusia with the World of Outlaws, and they are more than capable of winning this race. If you can't be at MODOK tomorrow, watch all of the action live on Dirt Vision with your Fast Pass. In advance of some of these Dirt NASCAR events in 2021, we've seen several drivers venture out and get some more Dirt experience, including Chase Elliott running a midget and Joey Logano running a UMP modified at Dirt Car Nationals. Another driver who'll get some seat time before the Bristol Cup race is Kyle Busch. He's teaming up with Jonathan Davenport and Double L Motorsports to run a second super late model for the team at the upcoming Bristol Dirt Nationals March 19th and 20th. Davenport will be in his famous number 49, while Kyle Busch will run a car with Nutrient Ag Solutions as a sponsor and the number 51 on the door. This won't be the first time Busch gets in a dirt late model, though, as he has, uh, was a previous winner of the Prelude to the Dream at Eldora. Busch is fast in everything he drives, so I'd imagine he'll be up to speed pretty quickly when he rolls onto the racetrack. Another interesting thing about this announcement is it puts Davenport's status with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series in doubt. By committing to Bristol, he will miss the next two Lucas races, March 19th at Atomic Speedway and March 20th at Brownstown Speedway. Davenport didn't have a great Florida to start the year with only three top 10s in nine starts. He currently sits 14th in the Lucas standings. Having a 230-point hole to climb out of might be motivation enough for Davenport and his team to pull back and just run a pick-and-choose schedule for 2021. Weather for that weekend could also play a factor, but for now, it looks like Davenport is off the Lucas Tour. The All-Star Circuit of Champions made a few adjustments to their 2021 schedule yesterday. First up, the upcoming race weekend at Attica Raceway Park has been moved up from April 9th and 10th to April 2nd and 3rd. Those races will pay $5,000 and $6,000 to win, and April 9th and 10th will remain as rain dates if needed. Also, the newly revamped I-70 Motorsports Park in Missouri has been added to the schedule on July 27th. This addition now creates a seven-race, nine-day swing through Missouri, Kansas, and Iowa. The I-70 show will pay $7,000 to win. For more information on the announcement and to see the full All-Star schedule, visit allstarsprint.com. Even after the World of Outlaws announced they had called off their spring West Coast swing, there was still hope for some other series, but we lost another one yesterday with the announcement that the Lucas Oil ASCS and National Tour won't be racing in California either. Races originally scheduled for Kern County, Thunderbolt Raceway, and Keller Auto Speedway have all been canceled due to COVID-19 restrictions. Track and series officials will look into rescheduling those events if restrictions improve in the future. The 2021 ASCS season will now open at Devil's Bowl Speedway March 19th and 20th. The full season of ASCS action is available to stream through both Flow Racing and Racing Boys this year. Sam Haferteeb Jr. has won five straight ASCS National Championships. Championships. After being postponed a week due to weather, Lincoln Speedway in Pennsylvania opens their 2021 season tomorrow with the Icebreaker. The event for 410 Sprint Cars will pay $5,000 to win, with pit gates opening at 1.30, grandstands at 2, and racing jumping off at 4. If you can't be at Lincoln, you can watch all of the action live on Flow Racing. Danny Dietrich won the Icebreaker in 2020, while Freddie Raymer is the defending Lincoln Speedway track champion. 
at Fayetteville Motor Speedway last night for the second night of North Carolina Speedway. Daniel Parker grabbed the $1,200 win over Chris Arnold, Drake Troutman, Taylor Cook, and Richard Michael Jr. Nick Hoffman won the previous night. He finished 23rd after completing only four laps. The event was scheduled to continue tonight, but impending rain has forced the track to cancel night three. They do plan on being back on Saturday night for the finale, which pays 5000 to win for mod competitors. You can watch the action on MAV TV+. I got an email yesterday about a new limited mod series that will run three races this season between Oklahoma, Kansas, and Texas. The Sooner Limited Modified Gambler Tour will race May 29th at Tri-State Speedway in Oklahoma, June 12th at the Belleville High Banks in Kansas, and September 18th at Monarch Motor Speedway in Texas. The tour will utilize USRA rules and races will count towards USRA points. The June 12th at Belleville will pay 1000 to win and 350 to star. For more details on the series, visit SoonerLimitedModifiedSeries.MyRacePass.com. There were a bunch of things on the streaming schedule for tonight, but we lost most of them because of bad weather this weekend. There are still two items tonight, Flow Racing 24-7 and the Winter Nationals from the Southern Illinois Center featuring Outlaw Carts. See the full daily streaming schedule with links to watch at dirttracker.com slash watch tonight. Stay tuned there throughout the weekend for other streaming options. I count nine shows for tomorrow, even with the weekend cancellations and another four items on Sunday. Looking ahead to next week, we should see racing start to ramp back up. Both World of Outlaws series are scheduled to return next weekend, so there will be plenty to talk about there. It's kind of wild how we had all this racing in Florida for a month with new stuff to kind of talk about every single day, and then since then, things have just been absolutely silent. Um, but hopefully, we'll start getting some more racing in if Mother Nature plays along. And I tweeted about it yesterday. I've got a really fun conversations episode coming on Monday featuring late model racer Devin Moran. We did something a little bit different with this chat that you maybe haven't heard before, so stay tuned for that one. And thanks to everyone that continues to support the shows and the website. I appreciate all your comments and emails, um, and certainly want to welcome all of those new folks who have tagged along recently. If you ever have suggestions, questions, complaints, uh, don't, uh, don't certainly hesitate to let me know. I'm working every day to try and make the site and podcast better. That's it for the show today. Hope everyone has a good Friday and a good weekend. You can find Dirt Tracker Daily on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or where you get podcasts. Please subscribe and leave a review. You can also watch the show every day on YouTube and Facebook. And those likes and subscribes on YouTube are appreciated as well. They do help the show out also. You can email the show at info at dirttracker.com. I do check those every single day. You can follow Dirt Tracker on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Dirt Tracker. You can check out the website for all kinds of cool stuff by uh, visiting dirttracker.com. If you'd like to get email updates, you can sign up at dirttracker.com slash newsletter. And you can follow me personally on Twitter at Justin underscore Fiedler. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you on Monday for more Dirt Tracker Daily.